The European green crab, also known as Carcinus manus, is an invasive species found throughout the world. This crab's carapace varies in color from green to brown or reddish orange and is about four inches long. They have five evenly spaced triangular spines on each side of the carapace. You can identify the gender of the species by their abdomen. A male's abdomen is more triangular in shape, a female's abdomen is broader and rounder. Also, male green crabs usually grow larger than the female crabs. The European green crab reaches sexual maturity within two to three years and can live as long as five years. Once this invasive species reaches maturity, they can produce up to 185,000 eggs at a time for up to three times a year. This species is a common shore crab in Europe. It is native to the shores of the Eastern Atlantic, the North Sea, Eastern Baltic Sea, and may be found from its native range of Norway and the British Isles all the way south to Northern Africa. The green crabs like marine and estuarine habitats. They prefer soft bottoms and live in habitats with mud, sand, or rock substrates. They can tolerate a wide range of salinities. The vector, or the way the green crab was transported, was most likely as larvae in ballast water. They also could have been stowaways in beach rocks or released as discarded research material. This invasive species was introduced to South Africa, Australia, Japan, and both coasts of North America. In the United States, this crab was observed in Massachusetts in 1817, which is on the east coast of North America. The green crab wasn't found on the Pacific coast of the United States until 1989 in San Francisco Bay, California. It reached Oregon in 1997 and the state of Washington in 1998. The impact they have on the new habitat is when they dig for prey in the sediment or make burrows, the green crab cuts the roots of the eelgrass, which destroys the eelgrass habitat. The eelgrass is very important to the organisms that live in that area because it produces oxygen and it also provides habitat and protection. On native organisms, it has taken partial blame for the scallop population decline on Martha's Vineyard. In California, it caused the loss of many manila clam and other crab populations. They compete with the native crab for resources and causes stress to that population. This crab wipes out the soft clam industry of Maine. In Washington, there is a huge shellfish industry and the potential loss to the clam and oyster fisheries could be huge. Biological, mechanical, and chemical methods have been used to try and control the population of the European green crab. They want to use the parasitic isopod and a parasitic barnacle as a biological control agent on the green crab. They use the trapping method as a mechanical control to capture the green crab and return them to their native habitat or kill them. The crab is still very common and widespread, which means their control efforts and management efforts have not been successful. The Coastal Management Program was developed to track the spread of European green crabs in Washington. It included both monitoring and control elements. There has been over $400,000 that has been allocated to Washington State's Green Crab Program. The Lacey Act of 1900 and the National Aquatic Invasive Species Act of 2005 helped to regulate the entry of the European green crab into the United States. The European green crab is an invasive species that needs to be controlled.